Yo, it's your boy, Straight Boss 8 from Straight Smoke Gaming, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. It is Monday, it is the night before the weekly update, and it was a great week in Red Dead Online this week, if you like horses, okay? Every single horse was on sale, and on top of that, the saddles were also 50% off, and saddles are important because your horse is, is only as good as the saddle you're going to throw on it, so we're going to do... One of my favorite videos here with my second account, if you haven't noticed there. Um, my regular account has a full stable, so a little bit tough to do a horse review unless I want to ditch one of my horses, but I like all my horses. But this second account doesn't have very many horses at all. So we're going to be using this account for just that reason. Here I'm showing the saddles being on sale. Go ahead and check out the links in the description. I will be uh, providing a video that we did a while back, the top three ways to increase your horse bonding level after you purchase a horse. Obviously you want to get it to a bonding level four as fast as possible so that it will perform the way you're expecting it to get the most out of your horse. Check the description for the link for that as well. Check the link, the links in the description for other horse reviews. I've done a good amount of horses, not a lot, lot, but I've covered some horses, some Mustangs, Turkmen's, the Black Arabian, um, so check those out as well, but all right, let's get into it. Okay. We're going to the draft class, which has, um, some bigger horses, um, you know, between the Belgian and the Shire here, we're going with the Shire. Okay. The, the Shire interests me because it is the biggest horse in the game. I'm pretty sure that is true. Um, you have your choice between a light, light gray and a dark bay. The light gray is pretty much a white though. So all right, so let's look at the stamina. The stamina is not too impressive. It's looking like it's like maybe 35% of a bar. And the health is, the health isn't too bad to start out with. It looks like it's about 45%, maybe foot down. Yeah, it's actually about 40% of the health bar. So that's not too bad. We got the speed here. This The speed acceleration is a little bit, this big boy gets winded early. You can see here with the speed of being a three, acceleration of two. You put a decent saddle on there, and the speed shoots up to a 5, acceleration of 4. You put the best saddle on there, the Nakadusha saddle, with the best stirrups, which you unlock at level 54. Um, you could shoot it up to a speed of 6, an acceleration of 5. And this horse has heavy handling because it's size. And I was interested in that because I ride around on Arabians, which have elite handling. I also ride around on Turkmen's which have, you know, the standard handling. So I'm interested to see what this heavy handling is all about. And you can see here the size difference between the Missouri Fox Trotter and the Shire. And the Missouri Fox Trotter is not a small horse. It's not small like an Arabian or a racehorse. Um, and that's just how big this horse is. And you see here, <laughs> Rockstar chose me to give a real great view here of bonding up my horse. <laughs> but we're up to level two. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get some combat, see how this horse holds up. His health is almost at 50. Here I got stuck behind a rock. This is user air right here. I got stuck behind a rock. It took me a good while to realize there was a smaller rock in front of me stopping me from going down and smoking these fools. And um, you can see here, the horse takes a lot of it, The horse takes the brunt of the damage, honestly. And uh, this is only a bonding level two, so its health does get up better. But here I wanted to show this clip uh, because this is just funny. This is the first time it ever happened to me. My main account is a level 300 or whatever. But this is the first that this has ever happened to me. See, he kills my horse. I'm not playing that shit. There's no way he'll kill my horse and get away with it. So I'm going to make this son of a bitch burn. And uh, uh, something funny here comes up. I'll let you watch. But while we're watching that, I'm going to talk about the handling of this horse. It says heavy handling. The handling is not that bad at all. I consider that handling, when it says heavy, that's misleading. Um, you can see we're uh, both going to burn <laughs> instead of just him. Uh, it's the first time I ever had a fire bottle shot in midair and burned me. But um, so here we go to, to body level three. And uh, the handling is fine. This, this horse is, the heavy handling is uh, a little bit... Um, uh, deceiving like I said it handle it handles standard in my opinion so keep that in mind don't let that shy away from you from getting this horse 
Okay, here we're level three. We're coming across some wolves. It looks like we got four of them here. And, um, and dude, I mean, it holds up okay. I don't get thrown off as fast as an Arabian will throw you. But, uh, it, I mean, that's pretty average. It's par for the course. Bonding level three. You can never judge a horse and how scared it gets. At a bonding level three, you have to wait till it's a bonding level four. Okay. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get it up to a bonding level four. Okay. You can see I'm using a really trash saddle there, the Lumley Ranch saddle. I do that on purpose because it is easier. You, If you put a bad saddle on your horse in the process of bonding it up, you bond up your horse faster. You get to feed it more and things of that nature. So I did use a good amount of horse uh, stimulants because this horse just gets winded so fast with the stamina. Good thing the Nakadusha saddle's on sale because now we're going to go ahead and throw the good saddle on it now that we're bonded level four. And here I just wanted to see how long this horse would hold in against the wolf. A single wolf, mind you. And it actually, it rears up. It does good. I'd say this horse, in general, is a little bit above average. Slightly above average when it comes to the predatory animals. Here, i um, taking on a bear. I don't hold still. I just move around. I pace, you know, I go back and forth in front of the bear. Um, just kind of toying here with the bear. I want to see. You can see the horse is agitated. The Shire is agitated. But it holds in. It holds in well against this grizzly bear. And it... I actually ride up alongside and get a headshot on a three star, so I'll take that. But uh, yeah, so I mean, here's the the, the Nakadusha saddle going from Valentine all the way to Emerald Station. You do the trick with the left uh, stick, pressing down to help you regain stamina. And this horse is absolutely fine. So with the best saddle, the best stirrups, you're gonna be just fine with this horse. Stamina won't be that big of an issue. Okay, so. I really enjoyed this horse. This is this is like a trail riding horse. Um, you know, maybe you're going to snag some collectibles and stuff. I wish the health was up just a little bit more, but this horse is cheap, so you got to understand that. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this horse review for the Shire, big boy or girl, and uh, it did really well. Go ahead and comment the horse that you would like me to review next. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video.